guys, today we're talking about all the Marvel stuff, and I just want to make, I'm a little pissed, because I just talked about most of the Marvel stuff, and I realized, I wasn't filming, because my camera was just filming, and then it popped up, the logo on the thing, like, the display, Sony, I'm like, am I not filming? I just talked about all this shit, and I'm not filming. Fuck me! So yeah, I'm doing it now. I'm a little pissed about that, but we're gonna talk about it a little more quickly because I already went into a lot of it. I went into more, de not too much detail, but we're gonna go through it quickly. More announced space, but we're gonna talk about all the movies that were announced and got the titles and stuff first. I'm just gonna go through this. We're gonna do it not in any order, we're just gonna just go through them. First, we do the shows, and then we do the movies, just go through them quite a good for quickly. For shows, we have Casimir, uh, Falcon, and Winter Shoulder. I'm excited, gonna have Brim Zemo in it gonna have the actors, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a good show, so I'm excited, it's about, I think, us Falcon getting the mantle cast of America, so that's gonna be really great, we have Wanda and Vision, another show, really excited for, looks really good, um, probably my least favorite of all the shows, so I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't like everything, I think that's one of the ones I'm like, most eh about, but I would, I, I, I did see trailers and stuff for this one, I'm probably, I, I will watch it at some point, but it's like, it's the one I'm least excited about out of everything, so, but they're cool, so cool, we need new sh we need actually show, so I like that that's tied in, so that's great. Uh, we're getting What If, we have all the different characters, all different, I think all the original voice actors and stuff coming into a bunch of What If stuff. It's gonna be great, it's animated, I'm super excited, that's probably one of the shows I'm most excited for. We're getting Loki, by what's gonna be played by Tom Hiddleston. A lot of the stuff is confirmed, it has dates now, when they're coming out, so you can look up the dates and anything if you want to, I'm not gonna go into dates and all that. In this video, just talking about these things, and so we got Loki, what's gonna be announced for Tom Hiddleston. I'm excited, that's series gonna take place after. The first Avengers movie, I'm excited, so we got that. So that's a very up to like four shows, and we also have the last show, I think it's Hawkeye. Uh, what I'm super excited is about Hawkeye training Kate Bishop. I'm really excited for this, you don't know. This is the show I'm most excited for, this and whatever the two shows I'm most excited for. Uh, Hello Stone, uh, Loki, and I think Captain uh, uh, Falcon and one shows are gonna be great. I think all the shows are gonna be great, but those, what if and Captain America and. Uh, what if and Hawkeye the two shows I'm most excited for? Hawkeye's the one I'm most excited for. And then what if? Because those both are gonna be great. So I'm really excited for those. And then we're gonna talk about on the movie side I think first thing we got announced was Black Widow. Super excited. I love Black Widow, so it's really great. I'm excited to finally get a solo movie finally. It's great, it's a prequel movie. It's gonna be great. I'm excited that's actually the next thing coming out from Marvel. That's coming out next year, coming out like a Marvel May. So next year that'll be the next thing we get. I'm excited, that's gonna be great. And then next thing we got from movies is Eternals. Like I said, I, I you don't know I don't know much about the Eternals. I know a little bit of like godlike things. They're like godlike entities or beings or something, space entity. They're pretty powerful things. So I'm kind of interested in how they're gonna do this movie and how this works. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be cool. It's weird you're doing. It. I just hit my door there. Yeah. Uh, sorry, um, but uh, I think in, Eternals is gonna be an interesting one. It's a new thing. It's Marvel. I think it's gonna do. I think it, I think it's one of the ones that be weird because a lot of people don't know who they are. But I think it's gonna be a really knock it, knock it out of the park. If I like anything like God, it's gonna be a wing and knock it out of the park. So yeah, we got that coming out. We have the next Doctor Strange movie, the multiverse thing or whatever it's called. I forget the name. But yeah, that one's really cool. I'm really excited. I have to do with the multiverse stuff and I'm always I'm really excited for that. To eventually become the play Marvel, that's gonna be really cool. If that eventually ever comes into play, I think that'd be really cool. And also I'm supposed to have Color Witch in it maybe. So that's gonna be cool. I think it's supposed to have like Color Witch as like a side character or see for me or something, so that's gonna be really cool. We have also I skipped uh Shang Chi after Shang Chi's coming out. And the Ten Rings or something, which is going to have the Mandarin, him fighting the Mandarin, and the Mandarin going to have the Ten Rings. It's going to be really cool. I love St. Jean Master Kung Fu. So I'm really excited to get this cute, another cute character in Marvel Franks. Somebody I wouldn't have expected them to do. Like, I wouldn't expect them in the Eternals. Out of everybody you could have done, I wouldn't expect those two to be coming in next. Over, like, Nova, Miss Marvel, some of these other characters. But I'm really excited for getting these. I'm excited for St. Jean the most out of all these Marvel movies. Probably the one I'm most excited for. Maybe. It's one of the ones I'm most excited for. Uh, the only other Marvel movie I think we're getting is, yeah, we only have one more. That's all. Love and Thunder was out to do with Chase. Uh, we get Jane Foster, Lady Soul, played by Natalie Portman. I'm really excited to get Jane Foster Saw. I actually like her more than regular Saw. I mean, I like Saw in the movies, but when it comes to comic books, I always love Jane Foster more. So this could be gonna be a great movie, and also Valkyrie's supposed to be in it. Don't know if the original Saw is gonna be in it or not, but I think they have to, to at least figure out how they was to deal with him. He, but he went with the Guardians, so I'm kind of curious about that. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, this is going to be really great. I'm excited for these movies. Now, that's not all what was announced. That's, no, no, no. We, that that would have been announced. That would have been enough to be like, he had, we didn't get any scenes or anything else, but I think for me, I'm like, that's enough. We know when these are coming out. All these movies are coming out. Da, da, da. They're not coming out for But we at least know, like, these things are confirmed. They're not confirmed. They have dates. We know these are coming out. Da, da, da. Next, we got the confirm list. We got confirmed we're going to get a cast tomorrow, too. 
I like the fifth Gotham Mall. I'm excited for, to see what second one is about. I'm curious about that. I think it's gonna be really cool. Black Panther 2, another one I'm really excited about. Gonna really enjoy that. We have a uh, blue dot. What's the other one? Uh, the next one I'm thinking of is. Uh, what's the other one again? Guardians of the Galaxy 3 got confirmed, but we knew that was coming out by James Gunn. Said a bunch of stuff. We knew that was coming out, so that's three great movies. Uh, I think maybe there was something about Spider Man 4. I'm not sure if there was or not, but that might be a thing. I'm forgetting. So if that was confirmed, cool. If not, I think they are doing another Spider Man movie, so that's cool uh, at some point. Uh, but the other thing we got confirmed, the two, I think, the biggest things, two of the biggest things, uh, we got Fantastic Four is now confirmed. The Fantastic Four. It's now confirmed. We're getting into the Fantastic Four in the movie. But if anybody knows, I'm not the biggest Fantastic Four fan, but I feel like that's something Marvel could do so good. I'm excited, because that's... Fantastic Four is staple of Marvel, I think, in general. They are staple of Marvel Comics, they're staple of the Marvel Universe, they're staple of everything involved of the first family. And Marvel, the way they handle the movie, the way they would handle that movie would be so good. Like, I don't care what's about Marvel Man, Galactic Winner, it's going to be... A epic movie and I think it's going to be one of the best it might be one of my favorite movies it's going to be like and also we're going to finally get a good fantastic cool movie I think some of the other ones are okay but this is going to get a really good fantastic cool movie so I'm really excited about that also we got confirmed mutants so we're going to get X-Men at some point yes I'm excited but that's the one thing the one, yes, I'm excited about the X-Men being on the Marvel Universe but at this point the, the X-Men are the one thing I would be okay with if they want their own and I'm not trying to be like, I don't think they could be in the Marvel Universe, yes, but it's like, I'm more curious on how they're going to bring them in and stuff, is one of the things, how they're going to bring them in. And also, I'm like, do we need them? We don't really. That, those are the only characters I'm like, we don't need. You could maybe throw Wolverine or something in, but I guess you can't throw him in without anybody else. But, like, if that's the cool, it makes sense. X-Men, I think you could leave if you wanted to, and just do if that's the cool. But I'm still excited. Like, I am excited to see the X-Men team up with, like, the superheroes. It's, just, it's great. I'm excited for that. But also, now that we have the X-Men, do you know how many X-Men movies we could get? We could get Excalibur, we could get Kenny X-Men, we could get X-Men, Excalibur, X-Force. There's so many X-Men properties we could get movies of. Standalone movies. Like, the X-Men alone could have their own cinematic Marvel Universe in themselves with all their characters. So, I'm excited. So, we're going to get that at some point. Well, I'm excited to see how that's, what that's going to go, what characters we're going to get. Everything about that. That's had so much possibility. I'm excited for that. And the last thing we got announced, um, one of the things that was really cool. We are getting Blade. Marvel's Blade is going to be a movie that's coming out. Uh, Marvel's doing a movie on Blade. Yep, this Blade is now part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I'm excited for so That means we get vampires and all that shit. And who knows? I don't know what the movie's about, but they did bring out the actor playing Blade and stuff. So that's cool. And they talked about all this stuff. So I'm excited. Are we going to get anybody else in this movie? Like maybe Werewolf by Night or any, any of these other characters like Jack Russell or anybody in this movie? Because who knows what this is about? So we could get some other characters in this too. So I'm excited about that. Just because they haven't been the plot, I think, so we could get some of these other characters. And the other thing I'm excited about is, uh, what else? Um, that we got now, I'm excited to see where that goes. And also, the thing about Blade is, might be the first mature rated Marvel movie. I'm just saying, I don't know how you're going to do Blade without doing it kind of mature. It just seems, I think you also, they also going to say Black Widow might be mature, so. But that could maybe not be the fifth mature black, uh, superhero movie, but it might be the second. So I'm excited. So that's everything that was announced. That's Comic Con. I know there's a lot of stuff. The view wasn't super long as I thought it was going to be, but it was definitely, I shortened it, and I'm kind of pissed that the first recording didn't record, but, uh, we got, we did it, we talked about everything on the Comic Con stuff, so thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I can always stay, but I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.